all right hello hello welcome to heal and ascend to row so as you guys can see we have three piles this pick a card is going to be a little bit different i don't think i've ever done this pick a card ever actually on the channel um so we're going to look into you versus your person um in terms of feeling so where are you at with this connection kind of what is your energy towards this person so you can know whether or not it resonates and then three cards are going to be what is your person's energy towards you okay so we have three piles here pile one starting with the rose quartz we have the clear quartz or sorry the selenite and then we have the black tourmaline so three piles here one two and three so take a moment to see which pile resonates if you guys want to book something personal my information is down below the promotion will be on the video as well as in the description box okay let's jump in so we're going to start off with the rose quartz so let's see so like i said we're going to start off with the first three cards being you what is your energy towards this person? So this is your energy. These cards are your energy. Okay, so you guys can be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Don't have to be, but you're embodying this Queen of Swords energy. Air energy. I'll turn it. Actually, I'm going to try this way so you guys can see better. We've got the Ace of Cups. I just looked up and it was 111, so that could be relevant for you guys. And we have the Two of Wands. Okay, this is your energy towards your person right now. So keep in mind, if this doesn't resonate with you, then pick a different pile. So how you're feeling about this person, obviously with the Queen of Swords here, it's like you're you're in your head a lot about this person. You're thinking quite deeply about the situation, especially with the Two of Wands. I feel like at this point right now, there's some sort of really important decision that you have to make regarding this connection. Um, it could be the direction. It could be maybe that you want to tell them something, but you're not sure. It could be that maybe you want to ask them something. There's sort of a decision here. There's, a, there's like a... A crossroads there's a a point in the connection where you're realizing that you have to make some sort of choice or decision and it seems like you're in deep thought about this like with the queen of swords i'm noticing here if you look at her body language she's really thinking deeply like what is the right decision and i feel like you do have a lot of love for this person you very well may be in love with this person if not in love it's like your feelings have advanced there's a lot of deep emotion but whatever this decision is you're trying to make it in a logical way it's almost like you're trying to like even though you love this person or even though you have deep feelings you're trying to not allow your emotions to disrupt your logic you're trying to make a clear decision that is not necessarily based on the emotional aspect right because if you look at this queen of swords here too she has her emotions locked away she's got her cup locked away and she's thinking logically she's trying not to let her heart um affect her but the thing is this like even though you may be trying to do that, it's telling me that your heart already is involved, right? So you may be trying to put these emotions aside, but I feel like your heart is already involved. So that could be why you're you're having, like um, you're at a crossroads with this person. It could be like maybe you have to make a head over heart decision or a heart over head decision and you're not quite sure. I feel like one part of you is, is trying to be smart <laughs> and the other part of you is is more emotional, right? Like more like, oh, well, but this is how I feel. So it's like, do I go off what I'm thinking or do I go off what I'm feeling? And so you're unsure. Some of you may be waiting for this person to give you some sort of cue so that you know kind of what direction you want to take. But it does seem like there's a bit of stagnancy and it does seem like there's an important decision that you've been trying to make about this connection that has not been made yet. But nonetheless, I feel like you do love this person. So that being said, if that resonates with you, these are the three cards that represent your person's feelings. So we have the three of cups. We have the Two of Cups, and we have the Chariot. Could be Cancer. Okay. Okay. Um, it's got the Three of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Chariot as this person's energy towards you. Let me just clarify why the Three of Cups is here for your person. Let's see. Why is the Three of Cups here? Why is the Three of Cups here? For pile one, we got this. Okay. So I do feel like there's a love triangle here. Um, we have the seven of swords coming through in reverse. So this makes me feel like, cause typically the seven of swords is my infidelity card, especially with the three of cups. I wanted to clarify, like, is this more of a reunion three of cups or is this a third party three of cups? So I feel like there is a third party here. So, um, they do have love for you as well. This person does have deep romantic feelings for you. And I do feel like they want to move things forward with the chariot. They're thinking about or feeling like they want to move things forward. 
but they may be holding on to someone else. And maybe you know this already. So the concern that I'm seeing here is like, is this person trying to move things forward with you while also keeping someone else in the process? I feel like with the Seven of Swords coming through in reverse, it's like they're trying to change. Like you may have someone here who is wanting to be better. Seven of Swords reverse could be like changing your ways. Um, let me get one more clarifying card here. How does this person feel? Maybe this is why you guys are on the fence about this. Because like if you know that this person is dealing with someone else, but you also know that they have feelings for you, it's like your maybe your logic is telling you you should just leave, but then your heart is telling you to stay. Um, because I do feel like there is someone else in this person's life. Yeah, they might are they already committed to this person? They this person has feelings for you. Like the feelings that you have are mutual. But the problem is, is if you know that this person is already in a relationship or already married, um, I feel like that they're not leaving that situation. So it's like weird because they're willing to move things forward with you, but also they want to hold on to someone else. And if you guys already know this, that could be why you're on the fence about this person, like why you're having a hard time deciding whether or not to let them go. Cause like you love them, but you also feel like maybe you want, obviously would probably want more than, you know, to be part of a love triangle. So that's could be where you're at where you're like what do i do here okay so that's what i have for pile number one so i hope that could give you a little bit of insight into your situation okay let's move on to pile number two so if you guys chose the selenite what is your energy towards this person on your mind Ooh, fire we got the ace of wands the star could be an aquarius or you could be an aquarius sorry we got pisces energy the moon this is your energy towards them. This is what you're feeling towards your person. Okay. So this is quite beautiful, actually. It's like there is such a deep attraction for this person. Um, such a. It's also, too, it's like... It goes deeper than that for you. Actually, this is very deep for you, especially with the moon. This person is... This woman is actually drowning in her emotions. And with the star, you guys are looking at this person as your person you're looking at this person as having this deep strong spiritual bond you may also feel like this is something that's destined you may feel that there is something that is almost inevitable here like it might be fated okay uh this person definitely turns you on a lot okay with this ace of wands energy it's like there is a lot a lot of passion you guys may be putting this person on a bit of a pedestal though so because of that i feel like this person has a lot of control over you emotionally is what it's telling me with the moon energy here this person brings out the dark and the light in you it's like so they bring out probably the joy and the passion but on the other side of that maybe there's the jealousy or the fear or the insecurity whatever it may be so it's like this person brings out like the highs and the lows within you um, and I feel like there are times where with this person you get quite overwhelmed with your emotions Like you may have a hard time balancing your emotions or this person kind of uh, brings up that shadow work that needs to be addressed here Okay, so if that resonates with you guys, let's take a look and see how this person feels about you We've got the high priestess We have the eight of cups and we have the death card, Scorpio energy. Okay. All right. So this is one of those reads where you guys are kind of in different places. Like you're viewing the connection quite differently, actually. So you guys are in this energy, like I had said, of like really feeling a strong attraction to this person, really feeling like this is faded. Whereas for them, they're getting this strong, intuitive um, nudge to actually leave the situation. So they might have already left your life. We have the Eight of Cups here and the Death card. So to me, this is like a firm ending. This person has already walked out of your life or is, is feeling intuitively that they should leave. So let's find out why. So why did they leave or why are they thinking about leaving your life? Oh, that one didn't want to fully come out. The Five of Swords in reverse. Some of them are not wanting to fight anymore. If you guys had a lot of arguments or issues, it's like they don't want to keep forgiving. Like they don't want to keep 
forgiving the situation. They're tired of the the issues. Like they don't they're tired of having to like keep forgiving. They don't want to keep going around and around in a circle over the same issue. Um so if you guys had a lot of the same issue with this person, it's like they're tired of, of this. Now, what I'm also feeling with the star and the high priestess here, I feel like you and this person are probably communicating telepathically. But it's like this person physically is walking out of your life. You may be getting like signs of this person or this person may be receiving signs of you because you're thinking about them so heavily or because you're so um, heavily drawn to this person. So they could be picking up on like your thoughts. They may be getting dreams of you because you are thinking about them so often. But I feel like this person has, like at least right now, I will say, look at that, the moon at the bottom of the deck. We have the moon here as well. Um, yeah, it's like there are a lot of deep, I don't want to say wounds. I feel like there's shadow work that is being done here. It's like there is a spiritual tie but you guys are almost in like different, pol the opposite of polarities. So your energy is like really drawn to this person, really wanting to be with them. And they're really wanting to leave right now, at least energetically. And it could be because on a subconscious level, it's like their wounds are being activated. But they're from their perspective, from more of a 3D perspective, they're just thinking, I don't want to keep forgiving or I don't want to keep like having to go over the same cycle over and over again. It's like they're kind of fed up with whatever has happened in the past. And it's like they don't feel like they want to do it anymore, essentially. So it seems like this person, as of right now, keep in mind, this is just current energy, but it does seem like this person is wanting things to be over. I do think that they are getting a lot of sign, like they're reminded of you a lot, um, but they are just trying to move on with their life with the death card being upright. Okay. So that is pile number two. So I hope that resonated, even though it may not be what you want to hear. Um, let's move on to pile number three. Okay, so if you guys chose this crystal here, what is your energy towards this person? We've got the eight of swords. Oh, we have four cards for this one. Okay, you're the only one that has four cards. We have the hanged man, the page of pentacles, and we've got the empress. This is your energy towards them. Okay, so. Huh. Um, strong interest in this person. So pile three, you guys are very, very, very interested in this person. Now, I don't know um, if you're... I'm just going to move this over a little bit. I don't know if you're with this person or not. I'm not going to read it from that perspective. I'm just going to say that. From, from your energy here, how you're feeling is like you're very interested in this person. <clears throat> it may be that there's no one else that you're interested in actually, or that if there are other people, it's like nothing, no one really compares to this person. You're really seeing them as like the end all be all or be all end all, whatever that saying is. You're seeing this person as um, having a lot of value. Like you, there's no one else that compares. They stand out to you. But right now, you feel powerless to this person, and it could be because this connection has stagnated somehow. It's like no longer progressing from your perspective. And I'm getting a strong sense that you're wanting there to be more communication, you're wanting there to be more messages, you're wanting there to be more give and take. But because of this stagnation, because it's stagnated, it's leaving you feeling quite stuck and feeling like stuck in your head, almost feeling like this person has this like power over you, they, they're they taking over your thoughts, you feel stuck. Um, and some of this could be because you do see this person in such a high light, in such a like high value. Um, and if you're not getting what you want out of it, it could be causing you to feel quite stuck. So if that resonates with you guys, let's take a look and see how they feel towards you. We have the magician here, the nine of swords. Oh wow, and the lovers. Okay, whoa. So this is one of those piles where the feelings are quite mutual. It's very similar energy. So pile two was very different. It's like what you were feeling was different than the other person, like to a very strong degree. But this is one of those piles where you guys are kind of feeling the same way about each other. So um, I do think that in this connection, there's a bit of a blockage, okay? 
both of you guys because of this are stressing about each other you guys may actually be picking up on each other's thoughts because with the eight of swords in your energy they have the nine of swords in their energy their fears are almost more than yours i almost feel like this person is stressing out more than you are like to the degree that you're stressing out just know that they're stressing out more it's like they're overthinking it more than you are even they really really want you okay like this person really wants to make something happen with you with the magician's energy and they feel like there is a strong spiritual connection they are highly attracted to you on every level okay um it's like this person feels that there is a deep bond i always see the lovers as that i honestly see the lovers as more intense than the two of cups the two of cups is more of that kind of sweet tender connection the lovers is really that sort of intense connection where there's a lot of spiritual growth that can happen in those connections and sometimes it can be quite um, overwhelming if you haven't done a lot of your healing work but with the eight of swords and the nine of swords it's like i mean this is your energy but i'm just kind of comparing because both of you guys are sitting there stressing about each other i think for a lot of you guys at night um, at night is when you think about this person the most or at night this is when they think about you the most I'm just going to clarify to see like what are you guys what is well, what are they so stressed about why is the nine of swords here why is the nine of swords here the ten of pentacles they're stressing out about a long-term commitment they maybe have fears around commitment but they want something with you like I'm telling you right now with the magician's energy this person wants something with you they want to make something happen and it seems like they want to build a legacy with you they want to build something with you. They they see you as their their number one. You guys both see each other as number one. That's what I'm getting. It's like no one compares to this person for you. And the same, they feel the same way. They want a long-term relationship with you. Maybe they have fears around it or they're just overthinking it. Yeah, I think it's for them. It's actually really, uh, this is burdening them, the thought of this for some reason. I don't know if it's because they have a fear of commitment or they're trying to figure out how to get you into a commitment either way this is like literally plaguing their thoughts on a daily basis because anytime we get the ten of wands and the nine of swords together this is someone who can't even focus on their day-to-day -day tasks because they're overwhelmed with this thought of commitment with you they keep thinking about this like how am i going to make this happen can i do this like am i ready for this they will they want to build with you like they don't even just want to be in a relationship like this person wants to build a legacy with you they want to have kids they want to maybe start a business together build together buy a home together like all of that they're seeing the long term with you um i don't know what the blockage has been here for you guys i don't know if there really is a blockage because with the hangman it tells me that something has stagnated for some reason um only you guys will know but let's just say this for pal three all of these feelings that you have like you see them as number one you're in your head about them they're they're in the same place if not more i almost feel like this person is more intense than you in terms of their fe their feelings okay so that's what i have for pile number three so i hope this resonated with you guys if you want to book something personal my information is down below in the description box all right but i'm sending you absolute love and light and i wish you all the best on your journey take care